information we've heard all week, and we appreciate that. Very, very much. Uh, right straight from the source. Um, okay, I'm going to encourage you to keep uh, keep questions coming. I've got a few, and we'll uh, we'll get them fielded. But uh, feel free to continue. If the thought strikes you, please get it today. Um, obviously, here we are. A lot of production agriculture in this area. We're talking to two farmers who uh, have have dealt with the gate program. We've had questions all week long, last week as well, about the gate program. So rather than give you a specific question, I just want to ask y'all, uh, both if you will, to give us your perspective on the gate program that's implemented last year. We've, we've heard of suspected abuses. We've seen some successes as well. Uh, Representative, I'll ask you to start, if you will, just uh, your thoughts on the gate program, where it stands. Well, let me first of all say that I do appreciate the opportunity to be here as well. And, you know, I was listening to the prayer, and we prayed for Congress and he prayed for our local, but he didn't pray for the state. So I said, <laughs> <laughs> that, that is. I just assumed that covered A to Z. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
there are conversations being had amongst the legislative members uh, as to what, what we can look at and how, what changes we can make uh, to make sure that, that those abuses don't continue to be there because uh, we, we want to make sure that the, 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 the thing that the program is, is being run correctly and, and people aren't abusing it and using it in ways that it shouldn't be abused or using it, use it in ways it shouldn't be used for and, and not using it in the way that it was initially intended. Uh, so we're going to work and make sure that that happens. All right. Appreciate those, those comments as well. Uh, 